hello guys welcome to boxing blog center please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all so that i'm not opening a new exclusive video you definitely be notified so let's talk about car the cobra frog who has been going in hard on anthony joshua for quite some time now um frog has turned into a cloud chaser and that is sad day because when boxers as accomplished as car frog become cloud chasers then a lot of the things they say doesn't really make sense to the public or the maxis anymore they become like bitter souls Rush and Joshua used to be very close. I think they were even friends, if I'm not mistaken. They were friends, uh, the GB squad and stuff like that. You look at Joshua right now, look at Frush. Frush, look at the size, man. Two different people, bro. Joshua is a monster and Frush look like a hand, an ant in, in front of Joshua. Now, Frush has been very vocal towards Joshua and the opposition and saying all oh, sort of crap about Joshua. But when Joshua finally beat back, this guy took on his YouTube channel. He has like over 100,000 of subs and stuff like that that follows him. It's funny that he has all these subscribers and he posts almost every time, all the time. Joshua don't post on his YouTube channel and he has five times more than, more than Frosh. So they're not on the same level, bro. It's just what it is. Well, Frosh... As vocal as he is, he never backs down from a fight. Let's hear it from him. So he's called me a prick and I've gone back to him and said, who are you fucking calling a prick? And, um, you know, he's come back and said, you, I don't like you. I'm like, Fair enough, you don't like me. But all I've done is been honest. So he's saying that he doesn't like Frosh. It's funny because they used to be uh, 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 buddies. Even Frosh went to one of Joshua fights, you know. Joshua uh, welcomed him to the ring and they hugged. So I don't know what, what happened, but I feel like all these boxers, because they cannot be, because they see that Joshua, Joshua is not going away. Joshua is, despite Joshua's losses, he's still the biggest name in the every division and one of the biggest in the sport of boxing. Joshua has more pool than Canelo on a global scale. Joshua has more pool than Jonathan Davis on a global scale. Javonta Davis, outside the US, is not known or respected or will be regarded as somebody, bro. He's just a small man, little man with you know who can fight. Um, Canelo, outside the US and Mexico, and some Latin American countries, not known because I think Canelo, his own case is because of his lack of English, you know. While Anthony Joshua. Is known everywhere, bro. In the US, of course, he went, he fought there once. Even prior to him fighting there, he was linking up with America's biggest stars and stuff like that. You know, imagine Joshua really fought in the US, like a lot, and then really based a little bit or build his brand there. It would be like, I mean, big, I, I, Joshua's not, he's not an household name in the US, but he's known. His name is known among cadres and, and, uh, and uh, and at core boxing fans, I cannot say that about Javante Davis. Outside the US, it's facts. Let's keep it right here. This is why all those guys I feel they envy Joshua because also the old fighters like Jim Stoney, who Joshua looked up to in a way and like, and even took a picture with. Saw him coming out and say Joshua didn't fight nobody, uh, hasn't fought nobody. All these guys are pussies. All these guys come from the woodwork just to insult Joshua and say all this crap. It's funny. Because without Joshua right now, the every division will be dead. But he brought it back alive. He's the one keeping it back alive. Let Joshua retire now and we don't have a new superstar in the making. Then you see the division become dust again. Because Fury would not fight anybody. While the He's no longer in his prime. Water is probably done. I don't know. He's going to retire soon. After his... I mean, I don't know how many fights Water have left. But the water that we knew then is no longer the water that we know now. It's different water. Joshua remains the last man standing. Usyk is 
as freedom as freedom as he is as a fighter he's not moving the needle anywhere but he's not selling out he's not doing big numbers because early because of his english lack of english and stuff like that and his humor is different and give constructive criticism on Carfrost call it constructive criticism. I don't think it's constructive. I think it's very, very daring criticism. What it does is that he tries to draw you out from your usual character. He tries to say things and throw subtitles as you, like subtitles as you, to make you, like to make you comfortable, uncomfortable. He doesn't attack you necessarily, but he does something to make you, yeah, yeah, like to make you, like, hey, what the fuck is this guy talking about? What, what is going on? Carfrost is that guy. He knows it. He knows himself. He's controversial. He's got problem with uh, Fury. He's got problem with Frank Warren. Problem with AJ now. He even picked um um uh uh Francis Gordon to beat Joshua. But but that's the thing. You know, he keeps talking about the Usyk fight. He only won two rounds. You are not always in the Usyk. And you never be Usyk. You will never be Usyk Carfrosh. He was never Usyk in your prime. You will never be him. But you got beat by Andre Ward. You ducked Joe Kazagi. We know all these things, Carfrosh. In fact, like I said, Carfrosh, 50 years from now, wouldn't even remember by. by he won't. He won't be remembered by by even his uh, his um his <laughs> his his countrymen. But for Joshua's name. Will continue to ring bells all over the globe because Joshua is trying to do something that no boxer has ever done, which is to build a care home for retired boxers who need help. Calf rush, you will never be Joshua. Give it up, bro. Joshua, I know is emotional. He has to be because Joshua is emotional towards people that he saw as friends that turned their back on him, purely because they are not getting anything from him. And they expect what to get some done since losing to Ruiz and Usyk. And where are you going now? You're fighting Dubois. There's no need to get personal. No need to start on a man's hooter. It's looking pretty good, by the way. And then you've got your £10 and your £20 notes rolled out on your bed. He's saying, get on my level. Get on my level. Levels. It's all about levels. Where's the humble guy gone? Where's remain humble? Stay humble. Well, yes, get on my level because you guys are trying to, you're trying to bring you out a character. Joshua is about that life, but Joshua changed his persona, his character, because Joshua doesn't want to portray a bad image to the people that aspire to be him. So you guys, Carl Flush and Cole, Johnny Nelson, all you guys are trying like who was like Joshua fan when he was the top and then turned his back on him, uh turned your backs on him when he got B, he lost to Ruiz. We saw all those things. Joshua began to know who his real friends and fake friends are from them. It's just what it is. Be humble. Remain humble. You can relate. And Joshua is still humble, basically. But, but Carfrosh is a controversial guy. He's cloud chasing and it's okay to cloud chase. But cloud chase with facts. You know, what Joshua has achieved in his career, sorry, Carfrosh, did not achieve it. Hey, you never will. You might say you're the first to sell out Wembley Stadium 80,000. Believe you me, outside the UK, nobody cared. Nobody cared. Even in America, they don't talk about it. But to this day, they still talk about the 90,000 sold out crowd at Wembley Stadium. Joshua vs. Klitschko. That fight was epic. And it kind of uplifted Joshua's career and started on to a whole new level around the globe. You, on the other hand, you still where you are right now. You are just a YouTuber now. Same as me. I'm not a YouTuber, by the way. But you are a YouTuber now. This sad. From being at the top to being a YouTuber, that is not right. That is not right. Especially when you are uh, an achieved fighter. Like, in fact, I think that the when Joshua builds that, uh, that care home for uh, retired boxers, he should you should be the first boxer to be admit admitted to the to the to, to, to that to home because you need it and as i said your wealth is in character not in material objects
Listen, you talk about levels. He says, I'm not on his level. But he's talking about money. Fair play to him. He's made a fortune. He's smashed it. But let's talk about levels in terms of legacy and fights and career wins. A little fat kid from Mexico made him quit for fuck's sake. He's fighting his goal. Well, let's talk about that. That that quitting part is wrong. Joshua never quit. Joshua got up. Many times the referee waved it up. A quitter is when Dubois literally took a kneel winningly because he was going to go blind and also quitting against Usyk. That's a quitting. You are talking bullcrap, Confro. Gum shield out and he's looking, looking around at the, looking for the corner, looking for people in the crowd to help him out. He got punched from pillar to post. The referee's looking at him. Do you want to carry on? Do you want to keep fighting? And what's he done? He's quit on his feet. That is embarrassing. Something the Cobra would never ever do. And he can take The Cobra would never ever be on Joshua's level and Cobra would never ever get there. And Joshua at that night did not quit. This is what he always mentioned Joshua's name. It's funny. You've retired long enough to take a risk. Or you still want attention. That's sad. The reality of boxers who didn't get to the to where they need to get to is what you get. Get on, guys.